morning and welcome back to the channel. As soon as I've got a bit of time on my hands, uh, I did say I'd uh, give a bit of review on these tyres that we've got. Uh, we did pop down to Bridlington uh, a couple of weeks ago, which has been a bit busy because of the Peterborough show and things like that, visiting family just before we go on our travels. We have decided where we're going on our travels and we're going to go to Scotland first. We're going to do the NC500, which is next week, after our last has had a hospital appointment. And then after Ireland, no, I'll start that again, isn't it? We're going to Scotland first, when our last has had their uh, appointment. We're doing the NC500 properly, because we've done it twice now, um, in the last couple of years, but we've never done it right, because we've always got called back for work. But now, we've got the time on Zans. So we're going to do that one, and then after there we're going to go to Ireland, and I believe we're going to do the causeway and all the left-hand side of Ireland, basically a 360 of it. Uh, from there we're going to go down to Wales, and then once we've done Wales, it should be about July, August, and I think we're going to miss Devon, because I think it's going to be quite uh, busy down there, and I've heard it's narrow roads for this uh, nine-metre motor home. So from there, she wants to go see some of down south, Stonehenge and stuff, and all other stuff that's down there. Uh, and then from there, we're going to go pop over to France. And then from there, she wants to do Gun Dunkirk, Dunk, Dunkirk. Um, and then we're going to follow the left-hand side down the coastline, all the way down to France. Then we're going to pop into Spain. And then we're going to go to Portugal. And then we're going to make our way to Gibraltar. I think we're going to do Gibraltar. Um, and hopefully that's our three months up there. And then I think we're going to have to get out of this uh, silly zone. I can't pronounce the word. It starts with SH. So, yeah, we're going to go to Morocco. And um, we're going to spend a couple of months over there. Can't wait to get to Morocco. Two quid a night for camping. This is going to be a laugh. Don't know what fuel like. And then I got a clue from there. So that's that. So, tyres. We've got the cross climate camping tyres. Don't know what cross climate means, but I've been told uh, of the guys that fitted them. It's uh, when you're going through France, it's nice and warm, then you go into Alps, it's cold, and then you're popping over to Spain etc or anywhere else warmer because you're going warm and cold the crack so we've got the uh, we took the advice and we've got the proper proper tires on and they've told us it's going to be six years before they get replaced or 20,000 miles I think uh, we'll update you these as we go along our big long trip so I'll show you tires so there we go monsters Oh, shadows. We've got some mon monsters. Look at the treads on them, if you can see them. Look at the size of these tyres. Don't know if you can see that, but it says 225 75R 6CP. And then there's another box, 118 by 116R. Uh, traction rates, radials, made in Poland. Never made in uh, England any anymore, have they? And the Michelins. So we've got four of them. Four on the back. And then on the front, we've got some Bridgestones, which are 10 ply. I'd like to say thank you to the uh, the owner and uh, the guy who's fitted them, really. I forgot his name, actually. I hope your camper van's ready soon. And I'd like some uh, pictures when you're ready. You'll see our email in the description. So just send us an email and uh, let's see how this camper van's going. I'd love to see it converted. I hope you're getting some of these tyres put on when you send pictures. They drive better than the last ones. These are so smooth on the road. And if they're smooth in this country with all potholes everywhere, I've got a feeling driving abroad on them uh, tarmac roads is going to be unbelievable. Don't know about Morocco though. Um, by looking at reviews and things online you do need some uh, decent tyres over there but we're not going cross country so we don't need 4 before. 
Also, are we getting any better at these videos yet? Putting them together? Leave us a comment also. Don't forget to subscribe. Helps us very, very much. And give us a thumbs up and we know you like the video. If you didn't like the video, just give us a thumb down and leave us a comment. And we know what we can fix.